For one thing, we are dealing with a group of people that are terrible, and whatever we do, we will also have to work with the larger society. And that is why when we keep saying whole of government and whole of society, what we mean is that without the larger society, it is going to be difficult. Once again, please don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to make excuses, but I'm just trying to tell you that if you want to achieve results, there are many ways of achieving results. You could go to the farm with a hoe. It might take you eight, nine months to get what you want. But when you go with a tractor, it will be far quicker. And that tractor I'm talking about is the larger human um, space with which we have to work with. You need to know that in asymmetric warfare, the situation is different. To overcome the challenges of asymmetric conflict, you need intelligence. Overwhelming intelligence is what we need to deal, and that intelligence can come from various sources. You have imagery intelligence. You have measurements and signature intelligence. You have technical intelligence, signal intelligence, open source intelligence, but the most important intelligence is known as human, human intelligence. That is the basic intelligence that we require. And what I have told the service chiefs and the intelligence head is that we must find a way, also with the constabulary elements from the police, we must find a way to cultivate the larger society and the president has always told me that it is very, very important because without the local community, and you can see that we've been thinking of community policing, the idea is that the local community gives you the basic intelligence you need to deal with these outlaws because they are the ones who are in contact, who have proximity to these people.